Minion in. I'm doing a four-part series to take stock of the state of Bless Unleashed to talk about its future and its problems. In each one of these, I talk about existing issues, and then I put my dev hat on and suggest solutions. In the last episode, I talked about class race restrictions, and you can click on this card to catch up on that. Today, let's talk about classes specifically. Come for the game, stay for the commentary. Let's do that. Let's talk about classes. One of the greatest points of pride for Bless Unleashed is that it doesn't have the Holy Trinity. By that I mean the Tank Healer DPS constellation. I think an enormous mistake was making that type of game with two classes that make everyone immediately think Tank and Healer. Bless Unleashed would have been much better served with a dual-wielding assassin and maybe like a mystic or a summoner class instead of a crusader and priest. Five very obvious DPS classes would have been a solid design choice to make it clear that this game is different. A heavy armor class with a shield is expected to be a tank, and not having a taunt has put the idea in people's minds that the crusader is somehow crippled, when in fact, the crusader has some advantages that other classes don't have. As long as you remember that Crusaders are DPS support hybrid, and that the proper use of Warcry is an important part of playing the class, you'd be stupid to discount them. As someone who's run Abyssals with a full party of five satyrs, if you're going around saying satyrs are a handicapped class, with all due respect, you don't understand the game. Every class has a place. Thinking pure DPS is everything is like being the kid who refuses to eat delicious cake because the frosting isn't pretty. Don't just eat the frosting. You're missing out. Another point of pride for Bless Unleashed developers is that every class is responsible for its own survival. You have to know when to dodge, and even when you have a priest in your party, it's your responsibility to accept or take the healing. Pick up your own damn orbs. In an even party, no class gets a free ride. But priests are very good at healing. They are the only class, really, that does heal. This perpetuates the healing class stigma. And when a priest decides to play more DPS than support, he or she gets the same hate that a crusader gets for not having a taunt, which severely limits the way a priest can be played and still get invited to groups. Bless Unleashed may not be a Holy Trinity game, but it's definitely a Holy Duo game. Saying the game has a roleless class system and then introducing classes that have very clear role stereotypes is a clear conflict. Honestly, it shows the game was designed in haste. Less healing abilities and more DPS would have helped make the Priest less of a stereotype, but when it comes down to it, the Crusader and Priest class were a mistake. A class like the Crusader should have had a taunt, but the way aggro works in this game makes that impossible, so it's not something you can go back and change anymore. That bridge has been burned, and kind of painted the Crusader into a corner. Along the same lines, you can't undo the damage you've done to the Priest class. You created a healer class and completely screwed one of the game's primary USPs. But removing Priest heals now would alienate them. I want to make my standpoint on this clear. Rolls are old news. Bless Unleashed never intended to have them, so if you're out there shouting about how Priests should play their role, or if you're PKing Priests for not healing you with field bosses, then you haven't been paying attention. Things are changing, and you're too slow to keep up. Priests don't owe you a heal. Rangers don't owe you a mark. Zerks don't owe you a defense down. It's not anybody else's job to make you play better. That's your job. Focus on your character. It's nice when other classes give you these things, but you're not the boss of them. You don't get to tell other people how to play. Your way is not the right way. It's just your way. You want to guarantee that the ranger in your party will always have mark? Roll a ranger or shut up. But to kind of slow the rant here, I've always said play your character in whatever way works best for you, in any game. You don't owe it to anyone else to change your style of play. If you want to play a full DPS priest that never casts a single heal, you have the right to do so. You don't have to play the meta to play it right, and if your party doesn't understand that, fuck them. And I will always believe that to my core, but to be fair, that's a hard line for a perfect world and we don't live in one of those. It was the intent behind Bless Unleashed, but in design, they failed to deliver. 
Priests were designed and created as a support DPS hybrid class. If you're not healing, you're not using your class to its full potential. And if you want to play a pure DPS caster, roll a mage. Same with satyrs. If you're not buffing, you're selling yourself short. In a way, every class in Bless Unleashed has a handicap. Zerks are slow and clunky. Mages are squishy. But honestly, I think the Ranger gets the biggest shaft. Hear me out. Every class has two default secondary skills. Satyrs start with Shield Throw and Guard. Priests have Consecrate and Retribution. Zerks have Rage and Shoulder Strike. Rangers get Tempest Shot and then... Reload? That's not a skill. That's a throttle. And in my opinion, possibly the most blatant handicap of the game. A skill should either do damage or buff you. Rangers become completely useless at regular intervals until they use Reload, which only does one thing, and that is unlock their ability to attack. The ability to attack and use skills should never be locked as part of that character class's core mechanic. Reload should be an optional and above all beneficial mechanic that buffs your attack power for a short time when used, and you should never run out of arrows. And don't give me it's realistic. Realistically, an archer fires one single shot before having to reload from a quiver. In Bless Unleashed, you fire from the quiver seamlessly, then reload your quiver when it's empty. Where are the extra arrows coming from? Do elves have a racial keister ability I don't know about? Are those... Are they butt arrows? Mages kind of get this one. They have the charge ability to recharge mana, but it's optional. You can get mana back just by attacking. Can rangers do that? It's dev hat time, so here's my suggestion for fixing class stereotypes. Give the crusader a class skill set or blessing that does away with the shield altogether. Put another sword in his hand. A dual-wielding crusader build with slightly higher damage output may not make a big difference mechanically, but perceptively, it would put this class in a new light for all those people who are too quick to jump to conclusions. Remember, from a design standpoint, mechanically, the Crusader is just fine, no problems. It's the perception of the Crusader that you need to change because so many people are jumping on the Crusader as handicap bandwagon. And although they're wrong, it doesn't change that this is the general perception of the class. So it's perception that you want to change. Keep their abilities focused on single target DPS. Don't take the AoE advantage away from Berserkers. But make the Crusader both visually and mechanically a more adaptive damage class. Priests need something a little more radical, because unlike Crusaders, they actually fit neatly into the drawer people think they should be in. Give priests a blessing that has no healing abilities whatsoever, and make it so good that it puts them on par with mages. Give us glass cannon priest builds. A major problem we're having is that many classes have what is generally considered the right build. And while I think that you should be able to play your character the way it makes you happy and you can still be a valuable contribution, I'm the minority here. So not using the right build will get you penalized by other players. A priest DPS build would have to be a very obvious damage setup to counter the conception people will be quick to have that a priest without heals is basically castrated. What you want is something so good that people in pickup groups go, Oh sweet, we have a damage priest! One last thing since we're on classes, because this particular question is on everybody's mind. It certainly comes up a lot. Can we expect to see a new class in the near future? I get asked this all the time. Maybe an assassin? The rumor is that this will happen pretty soon, but let me get you this answer straight from the horse's mouth. Maybe adding classes, I don't know soon, but in the near future, maybe next year, two years or three years. So keep your eyes out. This has been part two of my State of the Game series. Stay tuned for part three, where I talk about branding and level syncing. Join my Discord to be notified when that drops, and remember to like and subscribe. Minion out.